part where she yells Shaka Khan twice? <laughs> we didn't make it to Shaka Khan this time. <laughs> we didn't gotta make do it. that Shaka Khan workout. Yeah. Woo. Oh my gosh, you guys. Welcome to the sixth pilot of that time of the month and also our very special Fem Slate episode. <laughs> Just to reiterate, um, in case this is your first time coming to our show, per our all male network, network executives requirement, Neither of us are on our periods to assure clear-minded hosting decisions. <laughs> we both don't have blood coming out of any holes, so we can pretty much do anything right now, like horseback riding, or participate in a middle school gym class. <laughs> I'm so blood-free, I can moderate like any Republican debate you throughout <laughs> Speaking of blood coming out of wherever, <laughs> it's been a huge week for bleeding for a week. <laughs> A lot, ladies, starting with uh, Fenceblade founder Amber Gordon's viral site, Periods Are Not an Insult. Mm. Yeah! Which encourages people to let um, sentient floor hair from the barber, aka Donald Trump, <laughs> know that, well, basically, he's a real wee wee head. Mm -hmm. And that insult is infinitely better than implying someone currently has something that allows them to make the human species survive. <laughs> also, musician Kieran Gandhi completed the London Marathon with her period, but without a tampon. We need to a race to bring awareness to women who don't have access to feminine hygiene products and to normalize periods. Yeah, and um, it was so crazy because this was like really similar to something Megan and I went through this week um, when we broke taboos a couple days ago while writing for the show, and this is true, as we openly wept in Panera Bread in front of sevens of customers. <laughs> I didn't try covering it up at all, and we really felt the judgment that came from other people. At one point, a guy told us, hey, plug those holes up. You know, referring to these. <laughs> a woman actually came up to me with a sweatshirt to wrap around my face and said, honey, you've got pain, and you're wearing white. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Someone threw a pad at me. They were so disturbed. Um, it was a legal pad, and it was my therapist. You know? <laughs> I think he was frustrated because we have, were having therapy in the middle of a writing session in Panera. Honestly, it's the only time I could fit in my schedule. So, yeah. so basically what we're saying is we're fighting the good fight, too. You know, but while sitting mostly away from people in what is basically a bread cubicle. Um, as usual, we've got some personal notes back from the network executives on things they want us to work on. So if this is your first time here every episode, they're basically like waiting to cancel us, <laughs> and they give us another shot. But you know, we have to we have to go by these notes they give us. So my note says, "Hey, you know what would be a really good idea to get people to book a hotel? Walk around in the lobby of the hotel, yelling at couples. Hey, get a room <laughs> here." <laughs> How is that a personal note? Uh, that's actually one of my notes um, in my iPhone. <laughs> it's a sketch idea from 2012. <laughs> All right, um, and my personal note says. One fish, two fish, red fish, Hootie and the Blowfish? Oh god, that's a note from my iPhone too. Yeah. Are these just notes, passive aggressive notes on the quality of my iPhone notes? Yeah. Probably. All right, now it's time for us to check in with our favorite loyal ghost tech, Rachel Chapman. Rachel, how are you? Hello, hi. Um, let everybody know who's new what okay. your deal is. Yeah, that's, that's my backstory. <laughs> So I uh, died taking the show here. So I've been stuck here until I fulfill my last dying wish, which was to be in a Nora Ephron movie. And then Nora Ephron died. <laughs> so I'm stuck here taking forever. But Nora Ephron started writing a screenplay before she died, and Carrie Brownstein is finishing it. And uh, last week, you know, la last pilot, I told you guys that I was, I was going in for an audition. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they didn't call back, but, <laughs> but I heard they're shooting in LA, so I'm moving out there. Oh, oh my gosh. What? They, how, how does, what, are there ghost rules that allow for? Um, yeah, you have to submit um, some paperwork <laughs> for a transfer. Is there like a, like a sad ghost card you can get? Yeah. Is that after ghost card? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like that. I'm being transferred to another theater in LA. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I can. Well, you're still tacking. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm still tacking. But I get to maybe be a background extra. Um, but I did because this is my last show. I put together a slideshow <laughs> of our, oh, our time together. Oh, wow. Well, I hope you show up in the picture. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
dance with that. <laughs> you dance like out in this area for a while. Yeah, I'm floating. <laughs> There's not a lot of pictures I show up in, so that was really only two. <laughs> Thank you, and thank you guys for doing this, and... Yeah! 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 Y